talk to anyone that's been to Thailand and they'll tell you that it's not a trip to Thailand until you visit Phuket. It's beaches and bars and bars and beaches and bars and beaches and everything in between. That's why we're here. I'm Todd Newton, the Tattoo Traveler, bringing you along, my friend. Let's get wild in Phuket. Let's be honest, Phuket is known as a place where people let it all hang out. You hop in a little tuk-tuk like this and you run all along Patong Beach, soaking up the sun, drinking those tropical cocktails, and redefining the word fun. Located in Southern Thailand, Phuket is the largest island in Thailand. These beaches, the vibrant nightlife, the delicious seafood, the night markets have all made Phuket a destination for travelers from all over the world. And truth be told, this video does not do this view justice. What you're looking at in person with the sand between your toes, my friend, will take your breath away. There's scuba diving, snorkeling, jet skis, hang gliding, deep sea fishing. Man, it is too much. The best time to visit Phuket is November through February when days are sunny and dry, just like this. Sure, it's a little humid. You'll work up a sweat, but it's nothing that a fresh mango smoothie can't take care of. When planning your trip, just remember that the rainy season runs from May through October. But today, there ain't a cloud in sight. This is Patong, the most popular section of Phuket and probably the most crowded. Some would say it's the most fun. So if you're looking for the party scene, this is it. As you stroll along the sand, you'll see a lot of birds like this in cages hanging from trees. These are singing birds, and the sounds they make are absolutely beautiful. There are actually singing bird competitions here in Phuket that you can enjoy while you're having a cold one overlooking the water. I mentioned the fresh seafood here in Phuket earlier, and there is plenty of that squid and octopus and even sushi, but it really is the fresh fruit that'll keep you feeling light and refreshed as you soak up that Phuket sun. The street food is in great abundance here, right along the water. Grilled chicken and pork. Those deep fried spring rolls. Mm. But let's talk about Bangla Street, shall we? It's known around the world as the place to go get into some good trouble. And there's plenty of it to be had. I just showed you what it looks like during the day, but at night, when the sun goes down, it's all about the shopping and the revelry. And be sure to barter with the merchants. They expect it. It's like a sport here in Phuket. <laughs> Never pay full price for anything, especially a knockoff Louis Vuitton bag, okay? If you're spending a few days here in Phuket, you may need a little taste of home. They've got you covered. Cat, what a life he's got, huh? All right, now, here we go. At the heart of the Phuket nightlife is the Bangla Walking Road. This is where it all happens. Nightclubs, beer bars, shows that you have to walk down dark alleys to see, and of course, the infamous go-go bars. Now, people will tell you things shut down around 2 a.m. here. Don't believe them. It goes as late as 5 in the morning. Some even refer to Bangla Road as the red light district of Phuket. The road is closed to traffic, which makes it even more convenient to take in the sights, if you will, down some of that cheap beer, maybe enjoy some live music and some street performers. I mean, truthfully, I could sit here and tell you all about it, or I could just take a step back, my friend, 
and let you have a look around all for yourself. Be careful out there. Don't you love it when a sign pretty much says it all? Bangla Street, a lot of fun. And yes, you've heard about the massage parlors. They range from wild to mild. <laughs> and it should come as no surprise to you that I hit a tattoo shop while in Phuket. Visited my friends at Southern Cross Tattoo and Golden Tattoo for a Sakyant tattoo. Sakyant uses bamboo the tap tap method as opposed to the traditional tattoo machine. These symbols, usually geometric in nature, represent anything from good fortune to health, wealth, popularity, even laughter. Far, far less painful and invasive than the tattoo machines, and they're completed a lot quicker. This particular symbol cost me the equivalent of $25 US. Our final stop of the night was the world famous Simon Cabaret, where the majority of the performers, this young lady included, are Katoi, better known as Lady Boys. Only took me about five minutes to realize they're not singing. It's all lip syncing, but you gotta love a good stage presentation. Look at those costumes. And come on, let's face it, who doesn't want a good photo op, right? Phuket was everything that we hoped it would be. And you know what? There is so much more to explore. There's an entire other side of the island that we didn't even get to this time. So we're definitely coming back. I wanna thank everyone at Golden Tattoo. I wanna thank everyone at all the restaurants we hit, everybody that we met on Patong Beach. It's been beautiful. I can't wait for you to come to experience Phuket for yourself. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, grab your Tattoo Traveler hoodies and t-shirts and tank tops. We've got everything for you. I'm Todd Newton. We'll see you again a little further down the road. Until then, travel safely.